Hi everyone, today I have a very cool demo um, and um, interesting things to share with all of you. Um, it is a lens and it's uh, latest uh, extensions API. Uh, at Aqua we were privileged uh, to try out the one of the first version of the um, of the of the API and uh, let's see how it works and how it looks and I will uh, share some more details how to get started with it. So what you can see here is the lens which is a desktop application based on Electron and React uh, JS and it is using kube config a similar way the kube control is communicating with the cluster I do have a kind local cluster with three nodes um, and essentially if we look at the main uh, user interface of the lens uh, IDE it's uh, it, uh, it allows us to see all the deployments uh, namespaces events um, it allows us also to uh, work with extensions I will disable for a second the starboard land extension and I will come back to this screen later on um, so just a quick reminder uh, also what starboard is starboard is uh, as we call it a kubernetes native security toolkit I think it's best explained by looking at the uh, at an example and uh, you can basically run it in two modes one is a CLI based mode uh, where you run some imperative commands the other one is relying on the operator pattern where there is an application uh, a, a pod uh, called starboard operator and this operator is watching uh, new workloads or updates to the workloads and then triggers uh, vulnerability scans or other security scans so if we create a new deployment in the default namespace called WordPress Uh, we should see that in the job uh, in um, in the uh, starboard operator namespace there is a new job created which immediately is trying to scan the WordPress container image of the WordPress uh, deployment uh, it's currently running we could also troubleshoot or understand better how starboard wor wor uh, works by looking at the job uh, details and on completion the job is uh, deleted and starboard creates a custom resource called vulnerability report and it is using some naming conventions and label selectors to associate this report with the underlying workload as you can see here this report is owned by the replica set and then the replica set in turn is controlled by the WordPress uh, deployment um, so this is uh, already pretty powerful uh, the built-in custom resources viewer in Lens allows us to go and uh, see the summary of critical or high vulnerabilities. And uh, this is based on the additional printer columns that you can get uh, that you can add to a um, custom resource definition. Uh, but also, uh, you could see the whole report uh, its payload as a YAML file. However, this, uh, this, this YAML file is maybe not uh, the best user experience. So this is where the Lens extensions um, come in. Uh, those are basically Node.js packages that you could put at some predefined location. It's uh, my home directory, cagelands slash extensions. And if I enable such an extension that we developed at Aqua for uh, Starboard, you will see that immediately we registered uh, some additional menu items uh, in this navigation pane. And if we go and click the vulnerability reports, uh, we will see a similar list to the built-in custom resources view, but this time we could specify or display a little bit more details. In particular, we can display the version of the scanner that we used. Um, and if we click the details, uh, we also display a list of vulnerability items. As I mentioned, this is kind of an alpha release where we are experimenting with the extension API and we are learning it. But it already demonstrates that it's pretty powerful. Uh, instead of looking at the YAML file, we can have a more contextual uh, user interface. Uh, we could link 
between the report and the workload which is potentially vulnerable and uh, again this is showing uh, how powerful this API is let's try uh, modifying the image reference of the um, WordPress deployment and demonstrate that um, this will get uh, updated and also one of the quick wins uh, might be to just upgrade the image so if you go ahead and edit the WordPress deployment we need to find the image reference it's here and let's maybe try version 5.5 .5. if I go ahead and, and, and save this uh, report we can neglect this warning um, and if you go again to the jobs in the starboard operator namespace you will see that the starboard operator reacts immediately it runs the scanner creates a pod which is running and if everything is fine it should complete and delete the job yep I think it has deleted it and if we go back to this screen let's see what is going on it's still running let's see what's here yeah it, uh, it already created the um, the vulnerability uh, report it took a while maybe this is because of the antivirus which is running in the background uh, anyway as you can see we have a let's switch back to the view provided by the extensions and as you can see the, the newer version of WordPress uh, has only two uh, critical vulnerabilities which is good uh, we could also go into the details and drill down and see the list uh, of them and check uh, operating system packages and see if there is a fix for other uh, vulnerabilities so that's one part of the extensions API and uh, and the feature of starboard uh, another thing is the uh, configuration auditing that starboard provides currently as of time of recording this video it's not available as part of the operator but we can run such a scanner via the CLI uh, so if I go ahead and try the latest um, version of Starboard, I could just run it by specifying the deployment which I want to scan. Um, so imagine that this is the operator that is doing that, which is anyway uh, our goal for the operator to support all types of scanner, not only the vulnerability scanner. And in a similar way, if you go to the config audit reports list, uh, we extended the default YAML uh, view of the custom resource instance. And uh, we are using Polaris, which is the underlying uh, configuration auditing uh, tool. And it does check some pod template. Uh, it, it runs some check at the, at the pod template, but also at each container um, level. So we could see and check what are the failures, what are the warnings, and what is the category of the check. Some of them are related to security, but some of them are just related to resource consumption or networking. So we could also uh, go ahead, edit the underlying deployment, and fix some of these issues by editing the YAML file straight in the Kubernetes uh, IDE. Um, and the last interesting thing is uh, since we run starboard CLI, I could also run kubebench via starboard. Since we have three nodes, uh, we run the three Kubernetes jobs, and these jobs will create a CIS kubebench reports. Those are also custom security resources that we defined as part of starboard toolkit. They are associated with nodes, which are cluster scoped resources. Therefore, CIS QBench reports are cluster scoped. And again, as you saw, we could select a node and then see the, uh, the list of benchmarks uh, that were run on this node and the list of summaries and the number of uh, failures. 
Um, so this is pretty much all what I uh, wanted to demonstrate. Maybe one more feature is something which is called features in a lens. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, as, as a prerequisite, I have installed Starboard Operator in the Starboard Operator namespace. For some users, this can be a little bit tricky to understand what has to be installed and how to install it. And this is where the features uh, install button comes in. Uh, because we have enabled the starboard extension, it allows us to add a button uh, and when we click install, we could put any code that we want. In particular, we could programmatically create an operator for you with some additional configuration parameters, etc. So this makes the whole experience of using Lens uh, and starboard uh, very uh, easy and a big kudos to the Lens uh, team who provided this API. This is really unique. And uh, maybe last uh, comment about the extension itself. I don't want to deep dive into the code, which is anyway available on GitHub under Aqua Security Starboard Lens extension. But just to show you how easy it is, uh, we were able to put together this extension quickly by creating a node module by using the cage lens extensions api um, and then there is the main entry point of the extension where uh, you could use some built-in components provided by lens extension api but also you could create your own components you could register cluster features you could register additional menu items uh, if you remember we registered three menu items for vulnerability reports, config audit reports, and CIS cube bench reports. Uh, but also we could modify or enhance uh, default views for Kubernetes uh, objects. And this is, for example, how we added a list of vulnerability items to a vulnerability report. So um, I hope you enjoy it. If you want to try it out, uh, we will put all the details um, in the description of this video, including the link to the Lens API uh, to the Lens extension API and to the Starboard uh, uh, extension code. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching.